Welcome. So let's take a look at security hardening now for a slightly different device. This is for a layer two switch, uh, layer two access switch perhaps. So this is a DISA release 20 from 28th October 2016. So this is also a very high release number and we discussed in the previous module that when the number of releases is high, means that there are frequent changes and modifications and that usually happens for more, um, uh, you know, for equipment which is used more or which is more prevalent in the, in the industry. So this is the STIG viewer window. When you load this STIG into the STIG viewer window, this is what the window will look like for the layer two switch STIG from DISA. Now the rule title says, um, and there's some terminology specific to uh, the DISA uh, framework. It says the IAO. Now we have absolutely no idea what the IAO is. And uh, this is probably some office bearer in, um, in the uh, DISA um, you know, architecture or framework. Now, whenever you see something like this, which doesn't look very familiar, and by the way, you won't see this in CIS, but you do see this in DISA because it's a military standard and they refer to their own terminology and hierarchy. When you see something like this, you really have to ignore it, either ignore it or try to see how you can map it to your own requirement. So it says the IAO, uh, you know, again, we would ignore that part. Uh, all switch ports configured using Mac port security will shut down upon receiving a frame with a different layer two source address than what has been configured or learned for port security. Okay, so um, uh, in port security, when we, uh, we, when we make a setting, then there's only one Mac address that should be um, you know, connected to that switch port. And if you get packet, if you get frames, uh, ethernet frames from a different Mac address, and it's, it, it's, it's actually, this control actually shuts down uh, that port. So this is vulnerability ID 18565. Severity is CAT3, so it's not, not a very high, uh, not a very severe um, control. And the STIG ID is also given here. Discussion. The port security feature remembers the Ethernet MAC address connected to the switch port and allows only that MAC address to communicate on that port as a security setting, for example. So um, obviously the assumption behind that is that when one MAC address is connected, it's just one user. And when the MAC address will change, the user has changed. And you know, we're trying to block that uh, from happening. So that's a form of access control. Um, okay, so, and the discussion continues. If any other MAC address tries to communicate through the port, port security will disable the port. Check content. A shutdown action puts the interface into the error disabled state immediately and sends an SNMP trap notification if it receives a frame with a different layer two source address than what has been configured or learned for port security. The following Catalyst iOS interface command will shut down the interface when such an event occurs and we have switch port, port security violation shutdown. And that's the configuration. And uh, for fixed text, Configure the port to shut down when insecure hosts are connected to the wall jack. So that's a form of access control. Um, and this is a very useful layer two control. And there's a, there's a range of layer two access controls and, and layer two uh, switch port security features. And you can look at uh, further documentation so that you can uh, make, a, make a policy for your organization for switch port security and layer two security. Thank you.